Welcome back, brothers and sisters, millenita gods of earth. I'm your host, Ramudise the High King. If you haven't subscribed already and you enjoy the vibe of the channel, make sure you head over to my page and you smash that great button. Let the algorithm know it's good with the thumbs up. If you appreciate the video, let other like minded souls know that we're out here with the share royal family as we continue to discuss the challenges and the dangers facing the motherland and her people on the continent in the diaspora. On today's video, the likes of Bill Devil Gates, who keeps trying to force upon us his GMO solution to everything. Simultaneously, he is invested in all these things. So by us taking the deal, royal family, and accepting these disgusting, unnatural seeds, we would also be buying into his delusions of conquering the natural world while profiting from it to the maximum. His wife, if you missed that video, or his ex-wife, I suppose, interview with the devil's ex-wife, Melinda French Gates, she kept mentioning seeds in her speech or whatever she was saying. They're being gentle, they're being subtle about it, but it's there. And he's being in our face. He's trying to push upon us these seeds that he's very, very heavily invested upon and they don't grow twice you plant them once that's it you have to buy another batch that's the danger of gmo seeds royal family and it's irritating because it's almost as if not enough people know about him bill gates africans need gmo seeds and chickens to fight hunger imagine Imagine a man coming all the way from the U.S. to tell us what to do. A country that is already suffering from unhealthy food substances because the, because the corporations there are that corrupt. And here he comes with this corruption. Ken folk, we need to watch out. We need to watch out. And if you missed that clip where I shared it in my video, where French Gates was all about it, I'm going to share it on today's clip some more on that conversation. Genetically modified organisms, family, beware. Hello, brothers and sisters. Greetings to you all. I'm here in the farm where African people produce seeds and seedling. Of course, uh, these people are producing organic foods, organic seeds. And um, uh, I'm just trying to learn and to see how with the people of Africa, we can produce our own uh, seeds, we can produce our own seedlings. Of course, at the end of the day, uh, how we can feed our people. We realized a lot of things that Africans, uh, we don't need to import seeds, we don't need to mm -hmm. import foods, we have a lot of potentials, but all in all, still Africa, we are importing foods, we are importing seeds, and recently, you heard that uh, uh, Bill Gates uh, said that Africans need genetically modified seeds and chicken to fight climate change. As his demoness wife kept mentioning, ex-wife kept mentioning. It's ironic, don't you think, that the West and its industrial revolution, Royal Fam, causes this climate nightmare for them that affects the rest of us? And then they push onto us solutions that they are invested in and will profit from, should we buy into it. So this is what we do on our channel. We amplify the voices of those who are already in it, been in the game longer than I have, so that everybody can know that Africa's in it, Africa's rising, Africa's emancipating. We have our own natural farming techniques. We have our own seeds that have been surviving on this continent for generations, for thousands of years. They've been through it. They've been through desertification. They've been through wetlands. They've been through it all. The last thing we need is to believe outsiders to telling us how to farm family. We need to emancipate ourselves from their economic systems, from their agricultural systems that damage lands, that rip resources out of the, out of the soil. We need to watch out and we need to focus on our own farming techniques. Let African people share seeds nation to nation, people to people. Hmm? Because the last thing we need, family, is to be hooked 
on seed substances that we don't produce that are patented that have been modified you don't know the code you don't know nothing all you know is that you buy these seeds you plant you sell your crop and then you have to buy more seeds and at any given moment they can choose to rack up the price the dangers of not being in control of our own agricultural sector let alone the foods that we buy on our own shelves because again we've been turned into dumping grounds for western products one thing that i love to do is read into u.s foreign policy british foreign policy european foreign policy and how they are structured and getting nations that can produce for ourselves to import foods from them and they want to say oh look at africa we're a net importer of foods duh you've made it so that's neocolonialism so agricultural colonialism is at hand he who has bought up farmland in mass across the u.s is not trying to do the same thing here in africa one way or another trying to flood our natural organics with his filth so so Bill Gates has insisted that Africa needs genetically modified seeds and chickens to fight climate change and hunger. So, but if you go many places in Africa, you see that the people of Africa can produce their own seeds and can produce their own foods. And I see also people of Africa trying to work hard to protect the environment, but at the recent rate head Africa uh, Climate Summit in the Kenyan capital Nairobi, uh, Bill Gates remarked in a pre-recorded speech by saying that I started the work on climate over two decades ago after mm -hmm. I left my full-time work at Microsoft. I was focusing on fighting poverty and disease diseases when i visited africa i see two things first uh was how climate is already affecting agricultural output he noted that how the continent is depending on farming and uh, given uh, africa's location near the equator uh, said the continent is already experiencing a more uh, climatic change damages than other countries and those i'm pretty sure we shared that speech in a previous video where is it at the hold on a second President Ursula von der Leyen said this at the Africa Climate Summit. I'm pretty sure he was in there on his screen speech saying exactly what this brother is mentioning here. Hmm? So anyone who controls our food substances controls our future, controls our ability to put food on the table and eat. You must beware, family. Uh, according to uh, Bill Gates, that uh, for Africa to fight against the hunger and uh, mm, climate Look at all this green. Uh, look at all this food. These um, avocados. And the damage Africa needs to use uh, GMO foods and uh, GMO or genetically modified seeds and chickens. That is according to Bill Gates. But I have done some researches that there are some parts in this continent where uh, those GMO food cannot work because already Africa has uh, organic seeds, has uh, this kind of product like this avocado <laughs> that are grow in a fertile and horrible land. And I have done my own research by reaching in this area to see how the people are preparing farms, how they do the activities, so they how they get uh, the final product, the, the crops. So I found that uh, in many areas in Africa, I forget about those who are in the desert, uh, food can be grown without using any fertilizers, uh, 
if you have money because africa has the most fertile land among the nations of the world family we're hooked up we're good we're blessed with mineral resources we're blessed with fertile land we're blessed with the fertile people we're blessed with the very skilled and innovative people on the continent in the diaspora i firmly believe in the supporting of black farmers number one incentivizing black men and women to learn a, a skill or two when it comes to the green thumb i do have given it a go with the respect to this technology known as vertical farming so indeed as african peoples we can be food sufficient we can be sufficient on every single level we just need to learn to trust each other and trust organic right the last thing we need is to be attached to the very same devils who caused the chaos that we're seeing around the world and benefit from it now they want to profit from the solutions create the chaos and offer the solutions that's how they operate wild stuff you haven't read the kissinger report make sure you check out that clip whereby i covered it for those of you who missed it you are or you go to the whole blend you can cultivate and produce uh enough food to feed the entire continent there are some challenges that are affecting africans but it is uh, not much as climate change you know africa we are affected much by wars conflicts and of course we know climate change is there but look for the for instance those who are living in congo democratic republic you mm -hmm. can see congo is the richest uh, country uh, the country with the horrible land congo has a big liver like liver congo where the people can uh, conduct irrigation agriculture but the problem is the stability in that area so again as per u.s foreign policy the kissinger report so right now we as African peoples are very much paying attention to the situation in Congo. As we were paying attention to the situation in Niger. And the young and vibrant of the continent are rising up. Reclaim the throne. Putting out French military bases. Putting out US military bases will be next. Because US foreign policy towards the African continent is constant instability. Because they can benefit and extract resources without challenge and the Kissinger report needed to eradicate African youths so as to have no future generations raised by the teachings of Malcolm X the teachings of Thomas Sankara of Patrice Lumumba of Steve Biko of Chris Hani real black consciousness leaders hmm? who knew how far the colonizers and descend their descendants will take their iron grip on the motherland to a whole new level. And we're in it now. But of course, things are going to change and we're going to be the generation that changes things. Sometimes we can say uh, we have climatic changes, we cannot produce enough food to feed uh, our people, but there are some other factors that are affecting much than this climatic change. The way the people are affected by the war in Congo, um, people are affected by uh, conflict in some areas, and especially those areas that uh, the many producers of foods, for instance, Congo. You see, uh, if you go to uh, in Sahel region, you find the, the, the conflict there. If you go to uh, northern Mozambique in Sudan, so you can see in Somalia. Everywhere there are mineral resources, family, you see the same chaos, more or less. Instability, struggle and foreign military and foreign corporations on us like parasites that's the nightmare we live in right now as african people it's a whole nightmare and they are still thinking about africa's resources as if there will be no challenge in the present day era family it is so frustrating but we keep on keeping on knowing that the sun is on our side blessed be that melanin royal family.
those are the areas that are and recently you see what happened in ethiopia in the Tigray region and we know ethiopia is a good producer of wheat so you can uh, see yourself uh, that sometimes yes uh, these solutions that have been brought by Bill Gates maybe can work, but I don't think that that is the only solution for Africa. Absolutely not. Bill Gates needs to stay in the U.S. and lay in the bed that they made. Stay away from Africa. ...to fight against the, uh, hunger and uh, uh, climate change. But all in all, we need with the people of Africa come together to see how we can feed our people we have seen a young leader of uh Burkina ibrahim Faso, traore uh ibrahim traore mm -hmm. uh visited uh local farmers encouraging them to produce more in african traditional ways and that is what africa needs that's right so, brother brothers and sisters let us work together let us unite and uh fight against hunger in this continent and making sure that we the people of africa we can feed yourself so that is the business and of course i know that is the business and but oh you know let us make sure that we the people of africa so with those few words let me say thank you for your time please leave your comment and uh share your views Boom. your thoughts for on you. this that africa do you think that we can fight hunger and climate change by using genetically modified seeds and chickens Over and that's the narrative we need to stay focused on and challenge it by any and every means necessary family they will keep trying to push the narrative and push the narrative they will because it's business for them it's corporation it's profits Family, it is maximum profits and we need to make sure that they do not win. So we focus on our organics, we focus on our traditional farming techniques, we upgrade them where we need to for the new world as the African population continues to rise and thrive. So that we as African peoples can export to our own countries, to our own people in the diaspora. Mm. Because these food substances in the West that people are making, being made to eat, have nothing but toxins in them making people sick physically mentally spiritually always sickness and i see this brother here as i've said before we amplify the voices of those who are in the game have been in it longer than i have so as to share the word that africa is rising africa is emancipating if you enjoy the video royal family make sure you smash the subscribe let the algorithm knows good the thumbs up let other like-minded souls know that we're out here with the share i appreciate you for watching royal family follow me on tiktok if you have it see my posts over there i'm the host ramudi said the high king and i will see you in the next one they royal peace